One minute, 45 seconds into the flight, about 20 seconds prior to solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer reports a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlantis is on board computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise target in space for main engine cutoff. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Atlantis now 344 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, almost 70 miles in altitude. Atlantis Houston, single engine, Zaragoza 104 and Press D'Amico. Atlantis copy. As Atlantis rolls to its heads up position, uh, that call from Capcom Ken Ham indicating that we can make normal main engine cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. Two minutes left in powered flight. Eight minutes, five seconds into the flight of Atlantis, 780 miles downrange. Standing by for main engine cutoff, which will be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Main engine cutoff confirmed by the booster officer here in Mission Control and normal ascent for Atlantis. And the booster officer reports a nominal separation of the external tank. Atlantis now moving away from its tank. We saw a nominal MECO, Ohms 1 not required. We saw L4D fail off, no action.